All right, guys, here we go. Are you ready for a long episode? Because we are going to be diving into what I have in the collection. <laughs> You know guys, sometimes I like to just stand right here and look at the sheer magnitude of what we have in the collection. Sometimes it is overwhelming and a lot of times I just love looking at every single piece in here. And a lot of you guys have followed the journey since 2020, since we started this channel and seen so much growth. I've met a lot of people, a lot of you have contributed a lot of this awesome stuff we have in the collection. And we're gonna go over that, cause like I said, it's been about a year. This whole wall and everything over here wasn't even set up in the last collection episode. If this is the first time you clicking on my channel, I definitely appreciate you. And of course, hopefully you like what you see and stick around long enough to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. So let's go ahead and dive right in to what we have we're gonna be starting in this section over here. All right guys, so this shelf right here, this is not even supposed to be here. I was gonna get rid of this. Um, it just holds my overstock stuff I don't have room for, but we have the O'Reilly's Holiday Ornament. It's got the 1969 Boss 302. Uh, we have the Monte Carlo from Training Day. This is one of my favorite Denzel movies, and of course the Monte Carlo from that movie is super cool. Definitely want one of these at some point in life. Do I think I'll ever get one? Probably not, but we could always dream about it. We also have a duplicate Mini GT. Uh, we have a Chase 1957 Ford. We got some other ones right here that I didn't have room for, extra M2s. And then we got the two cars from Greece. We got Grease Lightning and of course the 49 Mercury. Both of them are iconic. You can't get one without the other. So yeah, we got those. This is an extra two pack. And then everything else down here is for trades. Um, I'm just waiting for stuff to put in each one of these boxes. All of these need to go in their own boxes and then get sent out. So moving on to the wall that actually starts out everything. This before, in the last episode we did about a year ago, none of this was even here. These totes, the dresser, this wall wasn't even established. There was just track on the floor. Um, but starting out in this section, guys, this is where the chases pretty much reside. We have green light, auto world, Johnny Lightning, even some M2 chases. Um, we have the 81 Mustang Cobra, we have the M2 Foose Gambler Chase, we have another green machine, the 69 that we just picked up, then we have an Eleanor, this is just a regular version, it's not a chase, um, but definitely like that one a lot. And then in the back we have the 2021 Mach 1 out of the shell livery, it's a green machine. Um, so those are hanging up there. I don't have room for the pegboard, especially with those haulers. Those are kind of hard to display anyways. Um, but then moving on, we have the Red Machine. That's a Target exclusive green light chase. We have some Ultra Reds. We have the White Lightnings all the way down. And then we also have some NASCAR Authentics, um, the Liquid Chase. So we got Kevin Harvick, Austin Sendrick, Brad Kozlowski. We have another Austin Sendrick, Joey Logano a second Brad Kozlowski, and then Ross Chastain. But this one right here, guys, this is from Derek over at Honest Diecast. This was his very first M2 Chase in the wild that he found, and he gifted it to me a couple years ago. So that is a very special piece. And of course, right behind it is another White Lightning. It's a 1970 Mach 1. But yeah, this section is just full of chases, man. And to figure out which one my favorite is, it is very hard. I mean, we have some two packs, the 1972s of the Chevelle and the Mustang convertible. We have the Fanta Fox body, just some really cool ones. But the one that I think a lot of people are going to overlook, or maybe they have in the past, is probably the Earl's performance right here. This is a 750 piece chase from M2. It just has yellow accents and it doesn't look like the traditional M2 chase. Normally they have the gold wheels or some type of gold chrome accent, but this one has yellow, whereas the mainline version has black wheels. So definitely keep your eyes out. If you see something like that and it's the only one that looks like it on the pegs, definitely take some focus to it. Google it, make sure it's not a chase or if it is and it's one that you want in your collection, pick it up. You do not want to overlook stuff like that. They got really sneaky with this one. And moving on, we got some car culture. We got the team transport of the Boss 302. 
Uh, we have the RTR Spec 5. This is an awesome one right here. We have the 2021 Mach 1, the new 143 scale that came out this year. Of course, yes, I had to pick it up because I can't just overlook a Mach 1, especially when it's a 143rd scale. I know it was a little bit high priced for what it is, but at the same time, when you're a Mustang collector or just car enthusiast, you're going to find a way to get it. Um, the only thing I did overlook over here was we do have two more um, two packs. We have the two RTR Spec 5s. One's a 2021 and one's a 2020. And then, of course, the then and now more of the Boss 302 and then the custom 2014 Mustang right there. Both with the Golf livery. Definitely love those. Um, and like I said, my second one is over there. So definitely love having extras, especially when you want to open them and take pictures. Um, we have some Matchbox Convoys down here. A little bit of Matchbox kind of mixed in here. Um, but predominantly on these walls is more of the premium castings. We got green light, we got Johnny Lightning, M2s, we even have some majorettes right here. We have this old 2012 muscle series, the Mustang Cobra. I have two of them because one is on a 2 plus 2 fastback card. Um, and I picked these up when they were first released in 2012. So as I've been going, I was a casual collector and then every now and then I would just pick up what I saw. But now it has just grown into what you guys typically see in the episode of all of this craziness. Um, we have these loose castings that I love hanging in these clamshells. I mean, you can pick these cases up by like a hundred of them, a box of like a hundred for super cheap. And you can display them by hanging them up. You can stack them and they keep your cars protected. So I think it's a really good investment for those type of things. Um, but I mean, you can find cars hanging all over this place. We have some Avon exclusives. One is Malaysia. This is a China release. You can see the car difference. One's light blue, dark blue. And then you got lace wheel, three spoke. Five spoke, five dot. This is a burnt orange and this is a red. I know it's just crazy on how variations go. But with me, I love variations. I think that is the main thing I focus on is variations. Um, whether it's a Mustang, Corvette, whatever it is, if there's a variation, I'm going to hunt it down. Um, and then we got Brent Mustang Burger. A lot of people ask if I have this one. It doesn't really showcase itself a lot in the episode. It kind of blends in with all the other ones. But yes, I've had this for some time now, maybe 10 years or so, because this is a 2013 release. But yeah, it's a super cool one. Not many people have that one in their Mustang collection. If you do, let me know. Um, but then we got some Majorettes up here. We have more M2s. Then we got some Johnny Lightning. That is like one of my favorite side brands outside of Hot Wheels is Johnny Lightning, followed closely by M2. And then, of course, Auto World is just another one. Um, a lot of people are really falling into the mini GT trend, which I absolutely love their castings. Their quality is by far like top notch, but you can't go wrong with some old Johnny Lightning. We have the old 98 Cobra right here. We have some old street freaks. These things are super cool. We have the Shelby. We have a 67 Fastback. And then we have just a mixture of stuff in this area that I just... I just love coming in here and looking at it. I mean, the 68 GT Fastback from Greenlight is amazing. It looks so much like the Bullet. And then you got the Hot Rod Magazine out of Racing Champions. Just another beautiful car. This piece right here is from Big Time Muscle. It's a 67 Shelby. But of course, you guys see it is spelled incorrectly. And it's not the only one like that, I believe. Four or five other color releases from this series were all sent out, spelled wrong, um, and then they corrected it. And even for those who don't care for errors, I think that is just hilarious. Like, who who looked at that and said, yep, we are good to go, print it, and send it? I mean, they just really butchered his name. So, it is the 67 Shebley GT500. Sounds funny just saying that. Then moving on here, guys, we have some NASCAR stuff. All of these are Mustangs. Even down to the Micro Machines, we have an old, looks like a 65, 2 plus 2. This is another Micro Machine. We have a 96 Mustang. This is in a Spectra Flame purple. And I think this is a Hot Wheel. Maybe not. Um, it's a 94 license. And then we have like an off-brand version of a Mustang. Kind of looks like it. It's got the same features, 
but of course they could not use the same same body style of it so you could tell it's a mustang knockoff my buddy ryan gave me that one but then we got some muscle machines we got the chase 93 fox body the toy con exclusive right here um, then we have another chase and then the red chase they came out of that. So this section right here is basically all of my extra stuff um, that I don't also have room for. New 7-Elevens. We got some reds. We have this one I haven't showcased in an episode, but I did pick up the 67 Chevy Camaro RS out of the counting cars. Just, I don't know, just don't have room for it. Um, and then as you go, there's just more stuff I didn't have room to open uh, we got some NASCAR stuff mixed in with some other castings that I have. And then at the bottom, even more NASCAR stuff. Now, this container right here, this Viagra number six, the Mark Martin, this one I actually keep some uh, cars that I feel that should be highly protected. That is just my personal opinion. Um, but we have the Coronet, little paper towel car. We have some really cool stuff in here. I mean, we got Ernie Irvin's number five. You have Terry Labonte's number five right here. The Frankenstein purple, just just a bunch of stuff. I thought, you know what? Let me just keep these in here because these are ones that I feel shouldn't just be thrown around. I mean, we got some Dale Jarrett stuff. We have some signed Ted Musgrave, um, some serial cars. Definitely love the serial car stuff. And then just most of the collectible NASCAR stuff. We have a Lamley little truck right here, the F-150 with Lamley Leaks tire service. So... That was a like 25 cent find. In this one, we have all of our other premium two packs and haulers. We got the Liberty Walk. We have the, the Pantera, the Skylines, a bunch of premium hauler sets, guys. Two packs, everything. We got two Nissan five packs right here. Yeah, this thing is just loaded with stuff. Uh, the new BMW set that I picked up a couple days ago. We have some Skylines. This is all just premium stuff more skyline stuff this is anything and everything in between you got the corvette auto world more majorette stuff um, some multi-packs premiums yeah this one right here is all full of porsche ferrari all of my um full sets gran turismo sets marvel sets mini truck series um, those are all my full sets so Ferraris and Porsches are all in here and then moving on to the wall that a lot of you guys see mainly in the episodes is this section right here um, but we have more Johnny Lightning from top to bottom just all types of vintage stuff I love the classics I love old releases you got the 96 Celine you have the 97 Cobra 2 racers um, you got Target exclusives we've touched on these in the first episode that we did of them but of course Always got to keep you guys up to date of what we have. John Wick, Gone in 60 Seconds. Um, we have Charlie's Angels. That's another favorite of mine. We have the old M2 Ground Pounders, Pin Up Girls. We have Home Improvement. And then moving on to the main focus of what you really see in all the episodes, the old Racing Champions Mint Editions. Uh, the 64 and a half right here is one of my favorites out of these. Then of course you just got some Shelby's, the Cobra Jet 428s, just some beautiful ones. And then of course some M2 heavy haulers and lift sets. Um, you got more M2s up here. You got some green light muscle, Johnny Lightnings, just yeah, pretty much everything on these walls is premium castings. Um, and then everything outside of this starts to transition into Hot Wheels. But I mean, we got loose castings here. We have some old Fox bodies from the Dodgers, Rangers, the Cubs, the Brewers, just really cool, man. Really cool stuff. Moving on, we have some customs. We have the four decades of pony power. I've had that for a very long time. Um, we also have some more customs and loose castings. But yeah, overall, guys, I just really like putting this stuff out for you guys to see during the episode. Either you're looking at the content I'm laying on this table, which is known for all of our mail calls, or you're trying to focus on these cars that are just lurking in the background. But yeah, this collection is always growing on the pretty much the daily. I'm always finding something, always trading for something. Uh, we have all of our supers up here. I mean, we have all types of variations. We have Shelby's, we have the Mazda Cosmo, we have the Kefa Racer, we have the Mexico Exclusives, we have short card and long card treasure hunts. 
Um, all of my Corvettes, I am a big Chevy guy. I, I was born and raised Chevy. I just love the Mustang. So in case you guys are wondering why I do have a mixture of Chevy and a lot of Camaro and Corvette stuff, I just love Chevys, man. I like it's just it's just what I grew up with. But we do have a lot of other Mustangs in the collection. We have a custom treasure hunt right here. Um, all of the five packs, these are just ones that I thought would be really cool to keep as a series. I mean, we have the Mustang five pack. These are two five pack variations. You got one with the 2005 Mustang and then one without it. And things like that is what I really, really enjoy finding. Uh, we got 45th anniversary, 50, new Mustang five pack, the Shelby five pack, and then Fast and the Furious. Of course, we all love Fast and the Furious. That's what we grew up with. We have two five pack variations of it. And of course, we got the Hot Wheels exotic set. Those ones were pretty cool. Lamborghini, the Hot Wheels flame series. Those ones were pretty solid, especially with this Mustang in there. Um, but they all came out with some really, really cool stuff. But then going into the older stuff, I love the Hot Wheels race team. We got one, two, and three right here. And then, of course, some more modern ones. We have the one that came out recently with the treasure hunt in there, which a lot of people were freaking out, thinking that it was a, a fake, or they were wondering why that the treasure hunt was in there. And I think Hot Wheels was just like, hey, we're not doing another livery. Just throw the treasure hunt in there, and everyone will probably buy it. So... I think it didn't work because those were peg warmers for sure. Um, we got old gift packs, Corvette set. That one's probably one of my other favorites. And then we have this one right here, this gold and chrome. Super cool. But moving back up to the Supers, I know you guys want to see which ones we have. We have the Nissan Fair Lady. We have the 95 RX-7, the Civic, the Golden Nugget, both loose and carded. We have the BNR32, the R35, the Sesto Elemento, the Lamborghini Mira, the Audi Sport Quattro, the 2019 Audi R8 Spider. Then we have both Audi RS Avants, and then the 81 Camaro, and the 67 Camaro, and then the 68 Copo Camaro. And then finishing up with the DMC DeLorean Super, you have the vintage version, which was the unlicensed version of the DeLorean. Um, then you got the Purple Sweethearts right here, the 67 Shelby the Fox Body, the Ford GT, the Ford Torino, Ford F1, Ford Galaxy. Of course, this one is not a Super, but it might as well be. It is the awesome Parnelli Jones Mustang. We got the Honda HKS, 57 Chevy. You got the Corvette right here. You have another C706, 2014 Stingray, Corvette Grand Sport, Corvette Grand Sport Roadster in gold, 2020 Corvette. Um, and then moving down here, we have the regular treasure hunts. Like I said, uh, 60, 65 2 plus 2, regular treasure hunt. Then you have a 67 fastback, 69. Uh, that one's just a regular treasure hunt. Then we have long card and short card. This one's the super. This one's the regular. You have the 2005 Mustang, 70 Mach 1. You have the 2007. This one was from D Honest Diecast as well. 68 Mustang, 2020 GT500, two 2015 Borla Mustang GTs, and then of course the latest 2018 Mustang GT. Um, but then further up, you do have more. We have the NFT, that one's the Custom Auto 55 Chevy. We have the Muscle Tone, the GT03, the Tesla Model S. Pagani Waira. You have the Roger Dodger, both of them. This is the older one that actually had the exhaust coming out the hood. Then you got the DeLorean, the BMW, the BMW Z4. Then you have this one, which is the Riley and Scott. And then the Bad Mudder right there. That is a lot of supers. My arm is starting to burn. But then moving on this way, we have some Ultra Hots. Um, we have some RLCs. We got the the Error 93 Cobra, which doesn't have the red stripe on there. So it came completely black. We got the red 93. We got the 70 Boss Haas. Then we got the Fox Body. This is a collector edition, another red line club. Moving down to some Hot Wheels classics. These are the ones that I really, really love because they're just wheel variations. You got five spoke, you got the white walls, you got the seven spokes right there. Just a variety and I love getting the variety of stuff. Um, we have two of the birthday Fisher Price 65s. These are super cool. This one I got from Sean. It's in a rough, rough card condition, but 
hey, I wanted a second one for the collection because I just love having the two. But one is a color swing. This is a tan pearl and this is a white pearl. So just a little color shift in the color of the car and there you go. We got two more Supers, the 32 Ford and the Mercedes Benz 300 SL. Now is where we start transitioning to all of our mainline Hot Wheels. I mean, starting out with the 62 concept, we do have a 65 up top, but I mean, 62s all the way down into 63s, uh, 65 two plus twos, just, I mean, I try to find every variation to all of these castings. I mean, whether it's a wheel variation, base variation, whatever it is, you guys already know I love chasing those down and a lot of them are hard to find. There are some that are pretty uncommon and some that you overlook like this one right here. You have the 2013 with the five spokes, but then you also had the 2013 with the black MC5s. Now those ones were the most common. The five spokes are the harder ones to find and we do have them on long card and short card. So I was very, very lucky to get that within a trade. We got some Zamax kind of mixed in there, some red editions thrown in there. Of course, we have Joey Logano's red edition. We have the 2018. And then all of these are just all of my loose Mustangs. I mean, from the old Matchbox to Hot Wheels, we got another red edition right here to M2s all the way down the line. Custom wheel swaps. We have Multipack 65 right there. Yeah, this is... This is just one of those displays I really want to capture for you guys because there are so many Mustangs out there and so many variations. I just had to showcase those. Um, we have our M2 section. This is where a lot of the big time stuff goes. I mean, I don't have room for a lot of these, but we do have a mixture of some chases. We have a chase down there, a Fox body. We have the 1970 uh, 429 chase. Fox Body Chase, 65 Chase. Uh, we have the Spam Chase truck. And then we have the Bronco Chase. And then I believe that is it. Oh, we do have this one right here. That's a Mopar that we picked up a few weeks ago out in the wild. But yeah, from 65, 66s, we have Fox Bodies, we have Shelby's, we have the Gassers. Everything in between, I am going to pick up and find. I don't care what type of Mustang it is. If it's a Mustang, I want it in the collection. And moving down here, we have the 20th anniversary three packs. A lot of these are pretty hard to find and I believe these are the hardest, especially talking with Mike Zarnock. Um, I'll go ahead and move these out of the way so you can see the full set. I believe there's 12 of these. The Chrome Corvette, the Chrome Testarossa. You have, I don't remember which car that is, uh, but they all came with a Chrome special edition car and they all have a little stamp on the roof you could see it on this one this one's gold and it's got the 20th logo stamped into the actual tooling so these ones right here these are the hardest ones to get my hands on um, and i did a trade years ago for it um, let's go ahead and stack these back up got another 66 yeah that mopar chase and then that one, that one's just super cool. Um, but we got some Pontiac stalkers. We have another Mustang, couple of the 100% Hot Wheels down here. 69 Tribute, that is an awesome one. I recently got not that long ago. And moving down here, we have some Fast and the Furious. You got the old Eclipse, the Honda Civic. We have Mia with Toretto's RX-7. Uh, Gran Turismo Corvette, one of my favorites. You got Back to the Future, the Simpsons Premium. Uh, you got the new Fat Series, which is not new these days, but it was new at that time. Uh, we got Muscle Machines, G Machines, um, and then the new Red Editions from Matchbox. There's six of them. I have all six. The Mustang is on the other wall. But the Fast and the Furious R34, of course, Legendary. You got the 2014 Custom. Um, yeah, really, really cool. You got the R34 Skyline. You got the Barbie Treasure Hunt Corvette. You have another Super over here. This one had no room for, but it's the Jaguar. And then you got this special issue set. This is a 1996 number two. I mean, you got some really cool stuff in here. Thunderbird, the Dodge Viper, the F-150, and of course the Corvette. Yeah, this thing was a super cool find at the swap meet we had a few months back. And then of course, moving back up to here, you have some old super fast Mustangs. You got some Cobra convertibles, really cool stuff. You got the 2003 Cobra. 
You have the number 71 Gold Mustang Cobra. When it comes to the die cast, I don't just limit to just Hot Wheels or premiums. If it's Matchbox, I am a huge fan of how they do their Mustangs. They do a really good job. Um, we have some Shelby collectibles up here, some more Auto World stuff. Old Carroll Shelby, uh, 85th birthday celebration, 427. Uh, more Johnny Lightning. Can't go wrong with Johnny Lightning. And then you have an old Matchbox High Rate Cruiser. Check it out, 68 Mustang right there. But then we have our 124s. These are all big time muscle um, for the most part. Yeah, I think these are all big time muscle. GT500, 65s, 71s. Uh, 67 Shelby's Fox bodies um, and then M2 we have some 66s 65s um, you have the Shelby driving performance 118 scales these were Sam's Club exclusives you have the GT500 this lime green one is from King Nuts dad this is a very priceless piece um, but we also have some other beautiful ones the orange the white the blue and white and then you got the black 2018 you have some more. You got Fleet Farms exclusive 69, another Twister Special. That's a Sam's Club. This one's also a Sam's Club. Actually, these are all Sam's Club right here. Up, you got the 98 Cobra. You got two of them. You got Eleanor. You gotta have Eleanor in there. That thing is gorgeous. Um, then we got some smaller scale. These are the ones you usually see sitting on the shelf at Target and Walmart. Um, we got Sean's Fastback right here. You have this beautiful black and gold. Looks like the Hertz Mustang right there. Um, even some Mustang cologne, like why not, right? You got the pedal car. That's a Hallmark pedal car. You got that Ford GT40 from the Shelby Museum. Uh, the Cherry Bomb, that is a beautiful Shelby right there. But I think my father-in-law got me this one and that thing is cool. I think he picked it up for like five bucks at a yard sale. We have all of our multi-packs. This is where I usually keep all of these. I'm a big fan of collecting sets. So you got the Fast and the Furious uh, 10 pack, you have Flying Customs, you have the FAO Schwartz, you have the JDM set, and the Target Black set, which I always love showing this one off because a lot of people like it just like I do. I just think it's really cool how these came in all blacked out castings. Um, I mean, some iconic ones the Mustang, of course, the Viper, Mercedes, uh, Corvette. Yeah, super cool. Of course, the Carroll Shelby Autograph 2-pack that I always showcase in all of mine. We have the Hot Wheels Legends Multi-Pack. This one is another good one that you can find at Ross. I think they still sell these at Ross for like 9 bucks. We have the 100% Hot Wheels Ferrari. That thing is gorgeous. Uh, Hot Wheels Cereal. Yeah, why not, right? There's like four different boxes. Just couldn't find them. We have another uh, Sam's Club exclusive 1971 Mach 1, the 2024 RTR remote control car. I was actually playing with this thing. This thing is actually pretty sweet. Uh, the remote actually has a nitrous button. So when you push that little bottle, it goes a lot faster. So I think it's pretty cool. Then of course we have the original newspaper article of Dale Earnhardt's crash. If you guys been around for a while, you know I love NASCAR. I have a whole bunch of NASCAR stuff. Mark Martin's my favorite driver. So like 98% of this box is all Mark Martin stuff. Um, Dale Sr. stuff is underneath that table in another tote. And moving on to this section, this is where all the final runs are. We have the Mercedes 380, the Porsche Carrera. We have the Street Rotor. That thing is super cool. I love the wheels on that. Um, of course, you got the Thunderbird VW bus. We have the Treasure Hunt Chevelle. Uh, we got some exclusives right here. The Toys R Us exclusive gift card bone shaker. We got the final run Ford Bronco. The final run Daytona. The Ambulance. The final run 93 Camaro. Such a sad one, man, because I love that tooling. Um, but then you have the trailer edition of the Dodge Ram 1500. It was one that you had to pick up at a trailer at a certain event. And we got two of the C-Rex Racer 93 Camaros. This one is the dark blue. This is the light blue variation. Never knew that was a thing until I got a second one. And then I was like, hey, look, there's a variation. So we got some custom sitting up top, some dioramas, of course, the Nissans. Everyone loves the Nissan JDM sets of the Skylines. Uh, we got the BMW. We have the muscle car one with the 65 2 plus 2 and the Camaro. We have the, the Ford Transit and, of course, the Fast and the Furious with finishing off with two more customs in the back but yeah this is where i usually line up the customs that i don't have room for 
But I mean, you guys have sent so many customs and stuff my way and I appreciate it so much. But we also have another final run. This is a 99 Pontiac Salsa and then the 99 Custom Corvette. Moving on to this wall, this is where we have our larger scales. We have M2 Chases, a lot of Mustang Chases, the 2 plus 2s. Um, yeah, all these chase pieces are just beautiful. We have two of those um, that I ended up trading for. We have the 1970 Chase. This one, this one is super sleeper. You would never notice it was a Chase because they used a black chrome. Um, this one's just a regular release. This is a Chase that was for this year, the GT350. And then you have the 1970 Mach 1. Now, now, for those who don't know, a lot of you guys know because you've watched my episodes a lot and I do give these pointers, but the main line of these large 124 scales have diamond plates. The chase pieces have the mirror finish base. You can see it's all mirror finish. Now, if you see the diamond plate, it's not a chase. So in case you guys were wondering, that is the quickest way. Even if I just saw this, the first thing I'm looking at is the base itself. We got some 118s of the Mach 3. We got two yellows and a red. We got some RC cars over here, some 124s. You got the bullet, you have the 69. You have some new S550s right here. That's a custom one. We got some more 124s and 118s. We got the Lamborghini Countach, the Dodge Viper, all of these are from Sam's Club. I love picking these up, especially this time of year. Um, they usually put their holiday shippers out there and they're all just full of these. Now these two right here, these are awesome Corvettes separate from the Sam's Club stuff. This is Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s Corvette. You have the red one that is just beautiful. Uh, big time muscle, this is another big time muscle. And then we have the Lamborghinis back there. Everyone was drooling over, including myself. Um, more four GTs. You got a couple Ferraris down here. You got the Porsche. These are the Fast and the Furious cars, of course. Brian's Supras, classic. And of course, can't can't have a collection without Dom's Charger. Moving up here, we have all of the customs. These were all sent from people from all over. Whether it's a trade or they threw them in a box, I just love every single one of these cars. I mean, the time it takes to put a custom together is. I mean, I've done customs for a while and it takes a lot of time. And some of these, man, some of these people put in so much work. I mean, even this one, like this takes a lot of work. This one with all the little tampos, um, all of the paint and custom work that has to go through with all of these. I mean, I appreciate all of you so much for sending these because this is what makes the collection special is stuff like this. And then over here, we do have some oddball, more vintage stuff. We have some collector cases. This one has cars in it, and so does the steering wheel. We got a Mustang book right here. This has all kinds of years and information over the Ford Mustang. Uh, we got a convention piece. This is the 15th annual, super cool one as well. We have the SpaceX. I just, yeah, I love the SpaceX type stuff. I don't know, I just think it was super cool to to pass up we have the collector's 1983 commemorative shelby forgot who sent me this but yeah we have the hot wheels magazine of course we have some more stuff uh, another chase piece the nhra hemi cuda the chevy apache the 510 we have the dodge monaco chase from rocky just just iconic man shelby barrett jackson stuff um we have the golf mustang another mini gt um some barbie stuff of course you got the movie version and then you have the standard card and then you have the little wheel swap i did full custom car this one is super cool man i mean down to the back i mean he had my my instagram my tags all of that stuff on there you can find the consumer information check it out just some really cool detail i traded a super i believe for this one because I felt it was worth it because it's a one-of-a-kind piece. We have the Hot Wheels Vintage Racing Parnelli Jones. We have some more chases down here. We got the Camaro, the Corvette. We have the Datsun 280 White Lightning Chase and then the Chevelle SS White Lightning. Uh, down here we have some more of those Dollar General packs or Dollar Tree packs. Um, this one's got all of my Monte Carlos and GNXs in there. Uh, this one, I forgot what's even in this one. Oh yeah, this one's got more Porsche, another Corvette, another Beetle. This one has, I don't even remember. Uh, oh yeah, more Corvettes and a Ferrari. Check it out.
Uh, moving on to the final wall, this one has more stuff. I mean, I mean, it doesn't end, but I mean, we have some treasure hunts. You got international and standard. We have some Matchbox moving parts, two card variations of the 68 uh, from Matchbox. Um, we have the Shelby collectibles. These I picked up at, I think it was Colorado Diecast. And then moving on down, we have the Mach-E's. I know I can't have a Mustang collection without these. So we do have most of the releases. I think almost all of re all the releases so far. Uh, this one's almost black. And then you have a naked version right here. This one's missing the stripes. This is a super dark color swing. We have some racing champions. We have Rat Fink right here. This is a super cool release. I love the artwork on it. Um, you have the doors, you have Billy Dean, you have Hank Williams Jr. And then of course the wrestling fans out there, we got NWO, Stock Rods. Um, I mean, all of these, man. A couple of these I've had loose already. I have this one loose. Um, I have this one loose. And I believe I have this one loose. We have Small Racing Champions Mint. I mean, that's a 1 in 188 scale, super tiny. We have some Speed Rebels. Look at that. Really cool Speed Rebel set right there. Uh, we got the gold number 69 Cobra Jet. We have Tough Wheels. This is a 66 Mustang. Very cool. I want to find a protector for that. It's kind of hard to find one because it's an oddball shape. Uh, Mexico exclusive 99. You have the black wall version of this one. And then you had the chase version, which actually had hot ones in red. So looks like the same car, but two different wheels. This one's the chase or it's considered the chase. Um, more hot ones. You got a really cool one right there. Johnny Lightning. More auto world and green light stuff all the way down. Uh, you got some mock es you got the blue, you have the black black bandit version, you have the California Route 1. Just, just overall stuff, man. Like, I love these type of pieces. Like, these are oddball pieces that you're not going to see in everyday collections. This Matchbox one is awesome. It's another 143. We have Kazi Custom with the convention card. There's only 30 of these known to be in someone's collection. And with his autograph on there, he's straight from Japan. Um... He's won like 14 years consecutive at Hot Wheels conventions for his customs. And then of course we have our Play Robotics One Mile Track, which we've been utilizing a lot. We also have our Downhill, which we haven't done yet. This is still in works. We are about to be filming all of this stuff. But I mean, from the tracks to the cars and everything in here, guys, this room is just too much fun. There's a lot of organizing I still need to do. I mean, I have my jammers down here. I know a lot of you guys want to know what's in there, but we can save that for another episode. We have treasure hunts I don't have room for, um, but yes, jammers galore. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it was pretty quick, but also in depth at the same time. But if there's anything you saw in this episode you want me to cover more, let me know down in the comments. And of course, you guys know this collection is just going to continue to grow. It's because I just love the hobby. I love finding stuff. I love finding the stuff that nobody else has. Or if they do, not many people have. And that's just what makes it fun. And plus, I love seeing what other people have in their collection. There are so many Mustangs out there I don't have. It's hard to even think about how many Mustang castings are out there. Of course, you gotta stay tuned for all of our future videos and don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you can stay tuned and you don't miss out on those. So until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.